Hi everyone, Mr. Charles Barnes of Music Service and welcome to Unit 7 on your ukulele. And today we are going to talk about something called tablature, or tab for short. Now some people may have heard this word before. Tablature is a another way of communicating music on a stringed instrument like the ukulele or a guitar. And it's something that is readily available and you will see a lot of it as you develop as musicians. So let's just say there's a particular song that you want to learn when you're at home and you type it into Google, how do I play such and such. Most often than not, the music that comes up will be in the form of tab or tablature. So tablature, what is it? Well, it's a quick way of knowing where to put our fingers on the ukulele. And it works upon the principle of four lines and each one of those lines represents a string on your ukulele. And then, if a number is placed on that line, it tells us whether to play the string open, which would be a zero, or whether to play a push down on the first space for a one, or the second space a two, or a three, or a four, etc. So, the way that the lines are set out, the one closest to the top is actually, actually refers to the string furthest away from you. And that's because it's the highest in sound. So it's at the top, it's at the highest point. Now if we were to put a zero on that line at the top, we would play the string furthest away from us as a zero. Now if there was a zero on the opposite line, on the bottom line, that would mean that we'd play the string closest to us, just with a zero. Now, the good thing about tablature or tab is that it does tell us where to put our fingers really, really quickly. Uh, and it's a lot easier to read than traditional notation, music notation. The downside with tablature is generally you need to know the song that you're learning because it's quite hard to communicate the rhythm of the song. Now, as you will know in standard notation, which we've learned quite a lot about, you have a rhythmic element as well so we will know if a note lasts for one beat, half a beat, two beats and so on. Whereas with tablature, this is a little bit more problematic because we can try adding stems and tay tay beats and tar beats to the actual numbers, but it's never very clear. Um, so most often than not, you will only see the numbers on the lines telling you where to put your fingers, uh, which is great because it, it, it's a fast way of communicating but you do need to know the melody in your head so you can apply the rhythm to the notes that you've learnt. So we're going to have a look at some songs together and the first song that we're going to do is Happy Birthday to You. So if you've got any birthdays coming up in your family perhaps you'll be able to learn this one and hopefully play and sing this to a relative maybe or a friend. So if we look at the first note in Happy Birthday to You we can see that it is the second string down from you. Or another way of looking at it, it's the third string up from the floor when we look at the first note. And if you notice it, it is a zero, which means we play that string as a zero. And then the next note is also a zero, so we'll play that one next. So the first two notes for happy birthday are two zeros. And then if we look at the next note, we're on the same string because it's on the same line, but this time there's a number two. So we keep the same string, and we've got to now find the second space and push down in that second space. So I'm going to use my second finger because it's a second fret, but you can use your first or your third if that's more comfortable. So the next note is a two. And then the fourth note, it goes back to a zero again on the same string. So if I put those together, we've got the start of the happy birthday. Now you can play the notes with your right hand with a thumb or with your first finger. Again, whichever you're most comfortable with. Now if we look at the fifth note, if we notice now it's changed string. Can you work out what string it's gone to? That's right, it's the second one from the floor or the third one down from you. One, 
two, three. And there's also a number on that note as well, and it is a number one, which means we have to use, use that string, and we're going to push down on the first space. So the first five notes would sound like this if we put them together. So now have a go at working out the rest of the notes in Happy Birthday. When you've done that, come back to this video and I will play through very slowly just to check that we can read it okay. Perhaps have a go at playing along with me. So Happy Birthday to you. I'm going to come in after two beats. Well done, hope you got that. So now we're going to have a look at a song that's a little bit more challenging. Now, as you'll notice with Happy Birthday, there are some rhythm indications on there, so there are some stems on. I would for now perhaps not look too closely at them stems and the rhythm indicators because it does make it a little bit more complicated. So I would just try playing the actual notes and playing through first. And that's going to be the same for the next song if you're happy and you know it. So I would like to apply what we've learned so far and I would like to have a look through the music for if you're happy and you know it. And then try playing through, starting at the beginning, going very slowly, working your way through. And then once again, once you've done that, come back to this video and then I'm gonna play through very slowly and let's see if we can get it right and play it together. So if you're happy and you know it, we're gonna come in after four beats. One, two, three, four. And if you notice in Unit 7, there is also another song on there called In the Hall of the Mountain King. So why not try and have a go at that one as well? Good luck. Look forward to seeing you soon in lesson.